Hey, welcome to Mark's Garage Channel. This is Missy. This is my 47 GMC. I've been working on this for over a year. If you want to see where, how far I've come with it, go check out my old videos and please like and subscribe. All right, got it set up again. A little higher this time. Still can't get past those wheels, tires. I'm never going to be able to get under that radiator support. Oh, yeah. Well, nothing bothers me more than doing the same thing twice, but everybody knows I've done so many things on this project two or three times. I guess it's not going to hurt to take out the radiator and the radiator support one more time and do it again. It's just going to make a mess with the uh, antifreeze comes flying out of here, which is about to. Of course, shake, shaking the truck knocks the camera over. No to sell. As soon as that finishes, I'll just pull the, uh, the support. All right, several hours later. The radiator and the radiator support are now in the clip. Now I'm going to track this clip up again, and I'm going to guess it's not going to tip forward like it did before. It's going to tip forward a lot more. It's going to be really off balance. I'm going to have to see what I have to do to fix that. I'm going to lift up on it and see what happens. Yeah, it's really starting to lean forward. Probably have to grab it in another spot with another strap to keep it level. And it looks like it's got to go back about a foot. one so there it is the front clip is installed the big test is to put the hood on and see that it lines up with the clip so the hood is attached to the cab and the firewall and when it lands, the pin on the hood should fall right into that hole. It looks like uh, there's a little damage around there, so maybe it didn't quite work out the way it was before, but we'll try to figure that out. And then all these pieces, the inner fenders, the cross braces, the under braces, this piece, I want to take them off one by one, wire wheel them and uh, paint them. I'm thinking gloss black or at least satin black, you know, to match the rest of the interior. So, but I didn't want to take it apart before I tried to put it on as it was from the factory. So, fits pretty good. So, it's coming off again. And I appreciate everybody watching.